To update the software for our handheld and ECU, we're going to go to our website and we're going to download the 5 inch handheld software or firmware here. Once it's finished downloading, we'll be able to open the file here as you can see. Uh, once we've opened this file, it is in a compressed form, so we need to extract it. So we'll right click it, hit extract all, and hit extract one more time to bring up this uh, loading bar. Once it's finished loading, we will be able to copy all of these documents over into our flash drive that we have plugged in. There's nothing on our flash drive, so we're going to copy, head over to our flash drive, and hit paste. And by doing this, we'll be able to upload everything from our newly downloaded software onto our flash drive and eject it accordingly. Now, once we've ejected our flash drive, we can head over to the handheld and plug it in and get everything updated. So we plug it in and we'll key on um, with our new handhelds. We do not need to do anything else. Just turn it on after everything's plugged in and it'll start to update itself. Once everything has been updated, you'll get this a message to unplug the USB um, flash drive and everything will start up accordingly. Now you just need to select the system that you're using. Here we're using the Joker and then you will be able to update your ECU from there having just updated your handheld. Click this gear icon at the top right hand corner, settings, ECU upgrade, and then select the Joker again. Upgrade the ECU, select the firmware. There should only be one with uh, most systems and we'll hit the star icon at the top left hand corner. Once the ECU has been fully updated, we can go ahead and key off for about five seconds so that everything loads up correctly. Once we have keyed on, we should be able to start the system uh, using the start wizard. But first, let's check out and see if we have our update. Yep, 1.89, so we're good to go there. Now let's head over to start wizard and plug in everything we need. We can put in our cam type, our crankshaft type, um, dual wideband O2 sensors, that's what we're using here, um, and we can put in all of this information. Now once you've run through the start wizard, you've got your firing order, everything in place, we can go ahead and save our settings, and we'll key off one more time just to save everything into the system. And now that we've got our system fully loaded, upgraded, and ready to go, it's time to hear what she sounds like, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> 